Stephen. Stephen is holding a giant pizza disc. Giant pizza cutters. So we are on with fitting yellow speed, which pointed out to me the other day. The disc name is quite annoying. I didn't realise really, I didn't really think about it, but it does say in big letters yellow on a red caliper. So 330mm front discs, big six pot calipers, that's to go on the front. And there's the braided lines for it. And then for the rear, braided lines, PBS pads, which everybody seems to recommend for whatever reason, we'll find out. And some uh, rebuilt and refurbished calipers because of the rears of mine. Well, they're just old. There's nothing really wrong with them, but they're just old. They do work fine, but well, when you're putting big red things on the front, you might as well put big red things on the back. And they are relatively large red things. Are they big? Huge red things. <laughs> Let's get these wheels off. There you go, there's the original setup. They're all right, they've got the type R on them because they are a prem premium edition. It's not premier edition, it's premium oh, edition. Premium. You know that, no, that's what it is. Premium. It's premium, yeah. So that's what we're going to replace. So I think the FNs come with them, don't they? They do. FN, yeah. Yeah. It was just the pre facelift, didn't it? Yep, yeah, mine didn't. So that's them. Fancy. Not quite as fancy. I'll well, put the light on, that would help. Yeah, it's, it's got a shape. Yeah. yeah, that looks a bit more promising. Doesn't it? Might have to be a little bit of heat, but yeah. Hopefully, cover should be alright. Hopefully, hopefully. And we're keeping the original discs because there's well, not wrong with them. Not wrong with them. It's weird how the uh, back calipers have a red and a silver centre. Apparently, that's supposed to be like that, but. I'm not convinced. If anybody wants to tell me that's wrong, please tell me that's wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be all red. I would guess they're all red yeah. and somebody's had to fit calipers at some point. That's what, I'm thinking, that's what I would it? assume. Yeah. No. 10, is it? Yep. It's one, one, 10 and a very flexible bracket. So we need some grips. <laughs> Bracket. Also known as Honda Corrosion, is that what it is? Uh, it's the, the lightweight program. Yep. Um, was it backed by Spoon? Backed by Swindon. <laughs> Swindon race chassis. Nope. 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 Plan B. It's always good to have a plan B. My plan B is actually called Stee Holiday. Isn't it? Yeah. I maybe have to see if I can get a replacement one. Nah. Tight. Is it penetrating? Yes. Penetrating heat, I think. Mm. Yeah, so wanted new bracket. Ah. Where we are. So we have loosened the brake pipe. Loosened the brake pipe off other. Yeah, that's that bracket. And now you're taking count off the sliders. Yep. Which is off. So there's one brake cable. Yep, we've got to get that off. So it's 10mm on your pipe. Yep. 12mm on your bracket. 12mm on your calipers, on your slider pins. That's pretty good. So right, so we just need to figure out how to get this cable off here. I'm guessing it should be clipped in somewhere. Yeah. yeah. It'll clip there and that'll do that. Fucking break through. Minging stuff in it. Action penning shot. Or something like that. Shiny red bit. First one. Ready. 
Now, me and Steve have just had a bit of discussion. Is that a PBS or a PRS? What do you reckon? You reckon it's an R, don't you? It I, looked, we know it's a B, yeah, but... I know it's a B, but it look, definitely looks like PRS. Or DRS? DRS, as logos go. I'm not saying PBS should change it, but... I don't know. I mean, Christ, I was a little ghost. It's white and not even blue, even though the thing's called one blue ghost, but never mind. I bet nobody noticed that, did they? <laughs> So, this has been done on purpose, but you can see your paddle rattle around like this. You don't want your pad to rattle around like that, and that is because you're supposed to have shims in it. But as I say, we did this on purpose as a demonstration. Purpose. That was the right, wouldn't it, Steve? It was a demonstration, wasn't it, that you need yeah, shims? Every time, every time. So, it's a first point is make sure you put your shims in. There, so that's the demonstration. So, top tip. That's just slipping. Just slipping. Quite quite the shit. Toy. Right, so uh, front brake pipes, unusually, normally it's the rears that are always a complete ass. The fronts, that's the driver's side. And that's the passenger side. Complete ass. Complete ass. So, that's a bit weird, but there you go. We'll have to return to this and hopefully not have to make entire brake lines, but it might be likely. Uh, it is possible. That, that one might possible. get away with. Don't worry, they haven't actually been cracked off, they're not leaking, we have just soaked them in oil. Yeah, there's nothing Before pissing Before asks. Yeah, so I can drive it home, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But, what nightmare. Nothing's easy on a Honda. Why a Honda, they said, it'd be great, they said, didn't they? Is that what you said? It'll be fun. Not great, it'll be fun, they said. It's not been fun. Oh, well, it's, it's kind of, it's yeah. but yeah, so we'll, we'll have to pick this up again um, because they ain't coming off. I mean, worst case scenario is that pipe there, all the way to the ABS pump, we make it. That's the worst case scenario. It's probably likely what's going to happen, but it's not what you want to be doing, unfortunately. There you go. The passenger side there, uh, that's already had a hose on it, a uh, pipe made on it. Uh, there's a bit of play in it, so it can probably be re and in a new fitting put on relatively straightforward with a bit of look. Copper line already, yep. so maybe there's a new, new nut on it, flare it. We should be able to get it on the car, hopefully. So. Look, passenger side, original line, steel line. See what happens. Moments. Right, so we're back on with the front brakes again. This has probably been, it's been a few weeks, hasn't it, Stealing? It's been a couple of weeks, uh, just due to, weeks or so, right? due to varying work and stuff. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to remake the pipe for this side because that there is dead. Completely dead. So, yep. There's parts here. I'm going to make this look a lot nicer and neater and stuff like that as well. We'll actually get it to shape and everything else where somebody's just kind of fitted it as and where. But yeah, copper on a steel nut, uh, a couple of years worth of what salt and grit and dirt and everything else. Yeah, yeah. Time, time to just put a new one on, it's easier. I mean, it's been replaced before, but it's just it's one of those things. Getting it now. Premium edition oh. calipers. Um, I'm going to have to feed this through. But oh, it's off. It's off. It's off. That's the main thing. Down it 
comes. Dalek? Da down. Oh, Dalek. Dalek. <laughs> Dalek it comes. <laughs> it's probably just clipped in here. Oh no, it's caught on this. Uh, it's caught because there was like a U-shape on, on it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you go for that. Just, just pull that completely straight up. Which we don't need this anymore. Yeah. Right, go for that. Handy tip as well, if you're gonna do something like this, find yourself a little bung and just block them off to stop it draining all its fluid out. Yes, because unbelievably it will still drain upwards. Yes. People don't seem to realise that. And there out. There we go. Wicked. That's what happens with a seasoned nut. Off you go. Type race. What does the R stand for? I don't know. Probably it's something like race. <laughs> Sport, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah. Race or <laughs> rapid? Or I don't know what. I don't know. What does the R stand for? Let us know. Oh, come on. Carry it off. Carry it off, eh? Bad is pretty good, aren't they? Still decent. Right. Disc okay. in good, good condition. Yeah. Inside and out. Yep. They were recently done just before I bought the car, but not that it matters now. Need to use out of it. I forgot to bring my bathroom scales. Damn. <laughs> just see how much lightweight these are compared to them. Never mind. We'll just pretend they're lighter. We'll give it a probably not. Decent size. Yes, that's obviously the new one, that's obviously the old one. They are actually marginally bigger. They're also much bigger on the vents in the centre. That's where your cooling comes from as well. So these should be better. And they're bigger. And the calipers are much bigger as well. I'll get the calipers out in a minute. There you go. These discs are sided. Please follow the direction of this arrow to install rotor. So we'll do that. Yes, it's cool. On that side. Somewhere, 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 there we go. There you go, so also, because your dust shield might catch slightly, you may have to bend that a tiny bit just to get it out of the way. Or if you're lucky like me and have a half you've gotten one, because you have a Honda, it'll probably fall off anyway as never, you touch it. Never bend anything, you uh, manipulate. Manipulate, yeah. You provide added clearance. Yes. Yeah. Let's go and get a calibre. Mm. Here's a calibre. I don't know which one this is left. Did you say which one it is? Mm, uh, no, RP02. Yeah. Uh, it depends if they've got bleed nipples. On one side or both sides. Nah, just on the top. I think I've had one out of the bag before. It's not this one then. It's this one. Let's have a look at this shit. I bet it's the wrong one, isn't it? I've got this one. Yellow speed. Yeah, so bleed nipples always need to go to the top of the caliper. That is the drive. That way around is the wrong way. That's the passenger side. And come and come and everything already. Yeah. This is the one you need. This one here. Red yellow speed. And we have a fitting kit as well. We'll investigate which parts of the fitting kit we need. All is good by the looks of that. Yeah. It's nice and smooth and no scrapey scrapey, nothing catching. Looks even. Then the look is. 
Yeah. Yeah, it looks bang on, doesn't it? I do like that whole thing of yellow speed racing with red calipers and yeah. then yellow pads. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, yeah, it's... <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> Pipe flying to it. It is. No, no. Not, not mine, but oh, yeah. yeah. This is the one we're using. Yeah. To be honest, brilliant little bit of kit. Handheld one. Um, can actually flare steel pipes on the cars with them if you need to. It's, oh, yeah. it's a bit difficult to do, but not as easy as the copper and everything else. But it's certainly doable compared to some that I've used. Quite a compact looking unit, isn't it? Yeah. So that's such a Set your stop for your yep. depth. Yeah. And then. Oh, yeah, that little piece there. You've got your flare up. I see. So, as you screw that in, obviously, you put the nut on from the other side. Or if you're doing yeah, both yeah. ends, you If you're doing both ends, you put your nuts on and then flare the other one. So, yeah, if you're only flaring one end, put your nut on first before doing this. Which one's not? Last one I used these was in a vice. A vice yeah, some of them like that. Yeah, uh, some of them are like a hydraulic with a with a big lever handle. Oh, yeah. cool. It is, but it doesn't really work when you're trying to do one on a car, no, which is where these are. That's a perfect size. It. These come into their own. So this here is the bracket that's supplied with the kit. Now. I'll put this on as well. In fact, shine yours down there. So if you mount this up into the correct orientation, which would have been coming this way, there, the pipe won't fit on. You can't, it's too short. This is the pipe supplied with the kit. It's labelled up in the correct bag and everything, so we're assuming that it is correct, but it wouldn't fit. So what we're going to have to do is angle that bracket upwards just so that the pipe will actually fit on because it makes it the correct length. Yeah. It doesn't really... It's when you go to full, full lock, it pulls, it pulls, pulls, pulls your pipe. But it stops, if you go onto there, it stops it rubbing yeah. on the back of here. Whereas if it was away across here. Yeah, you ain't gonna get it. It's gonna be too short and you're gonna start getting a kink in your pipe in there, in the brake line, which obviously we definitely don't want. But so that should, yeah. that's, that's the. It's, it's clear enough, isn't it? It's got enough. Yeah. Giving it all over, so that should be okay. Yeah. That's the best we can do with it. But yeah, I mean, the other option would be if that bracket was possibly shorter, it might provide it, but then it would catch more on there, so I don't, I don't really. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. What we'll probably do is we'll probably sleeve that with something just to be just safe. Just to make sure. We should be alright otherwise. Yep. Yeah. that there? Yeah, there's a new brake pipe. Yeah, there's a new brake line going in as well. So that just fits into there and goes through. That's grease, by the way, not corrosion. That's corrosion. <laughs> So these are about about a year old, do we think? I reckon about a year old, maybe, maybe slightly older. Must be just over a year old. And uh, the actual bracket that holds the brake pipe and the ABS wires and stuff onto the shock absorber has snapped off. Now, this is a brand new bracket on this brand new cover. I'll say brand new, it's about just over a year old. It's already rusted and snapped off. So the, the welds yeah. on it, you look pretty good. If you look at the actual weld themselves, you can see that one's just had absolutely no effect at all, yeah, and that well. one's only had the two little patches on yeah. it. So these I'm are, quite surprised at that. This does fit in yellow speed brakes, which we have high hopes for, and struggling to remove a bracket off a yellow speed polo, but it's just over a year old. Um, yeah, mm. great. Trying to pressure bleeder out for these. We don't know if it's going to work or not, do we? Uh, it's the first time using it. One way to find out. Hmm. Of course, you've got two bleed nipples on this one, the inside one, the outside. But why does it sound like they're all open? Because they are. Right. That's probably why you have a spongy pedal. They're all open, yeah. 
on it first, make sure they're all shut. Hopefully it's not made by the same guy that did the welding on them. <laughs> That'd be hysterical, wouldn't it not? Loads of air coming out of it. Oh god, eh? That's just going to fucking see that, mate. Yeah. Oh, it's finished already? Yep. The other side will be worse because we've got the line on it as well. Yeah, true, eh? Right. So does this work then? Just forces air? Basically, just applies like one bar of pressure to the full system. Yeah. Full braking system, fronts, rears, everything. Um, if it's joining the clutch system as well, these aren't, these are separate. So it's as if you're almost pressing the pedal down yourself. But basically, yeah, like constantly, just at a constant pressure rather than doing a pump. Yeah. This it just flows. Yeah. Really handy tool. Yep. And you can get cheap ones and that. Yeah, and you get the ones that actually attach to the valves on tyres and stuff like that and use yeah, like 30 it. psi of tyre tyre pressure. You used them before, but they're alright as well. I think they're all better than doing it by foot. Yeah, foot's an iron. I mean it works alright, but it is an iron. Foot's the classic method. And there we go, some yellow speed brakes and some Evo 8 wheels. Look alright as well. I mean, let's hope the stop all right, because it doesn't matter if we look right. Someone's crawling with the car, guys. Right? I don't know what happened. But yeah, there we go. So six pots, 330 mil discs, and a pressure bleeder. And uh, yeah, I, I think they call this a good Friday, don't they? It's fairly good. Yeah.